Give us a state of security within health IT. What are you finding in the industry today? Sure. So, well, the research you're talking about, I'll give a little background on that first. Um, working through UNC Charlotte, University of North Carolina Charlotte, I got tied into an uh, um, entrepreneurial program for, for some, uh, a company that I'm working on. And, and uh, part of that program included customer discovery. So, hey, entrepreneurs, you may have the best solution in the whole world, but if it doesn't meet the business need, no one's going to buy it. And that, that certainly makes sense. So while I was tasked as part of this program, go talk to a lot of executives about security. And when I was all said and done, I had dozens of interviews with, with, with leaders throughout healthcare and other industries saying, you know, this is our thought on security and th this is where we think we're headed. So it was great information. I tied it together and, and made a presentation based on it. So that's, that's some of the numbers that I'm going to review with you, Bill, today. Um, but specifically, what's the state? I start off with, hey, hey, executive, how confident are you in your security controls? Do you, do you think you have enough? Do you not have enough? Uh, the majority felt they were actually good. They, they said their security controls were solid and they had high confidence in their security controls, uh, which was kind of interesting. About a quarter then on the other end of the spectrum said they had little to no confidence. So it's it kind of, kind of a, 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 a big gap there, uh, but there were people on both ends of, of that spectrum. Then I took the next step, Bill, and said, well, great, your security program is either good or poor. Let's break it into the pillars. So security really is not a, a monolith. Security consists generally of people, process, technology. And I said, okay, if your security program is great or it's poor, what do you feel about technology? And, and pretty much everyone, everyone said specifically technology is in great shape. Our technology part of security, we're very comfortable with. Okay, and I said, great technology, process, we're on process. About two thirds said, yeah, our processes are very solid. Uh, the rest also then said that, well, our processes are pretty good. So no one had any big concerns about processes. Then I took the last pillar. Technology process, let's talk about people. Almost everybody said people was the biggest risk of their security program. Um, so it's interesting when you take the idea of security as a whole and then break it into pieces, what are the concerns? Technology is not the concern because technology is easy to sell. You know, the idea of, well, we need $100,000 for a firewall or we need to buy this service. So there's things that are uh, you can see and you can touch and you can understand. Uh, the people side of cybersecurity is really the gap. Is, is they don't know how to move the needle in there. They don't really know how to get the value out of um, the thousands of people perhaps working in the organization. And, and that was kind of a, a gap everyone acknowledged. They really didn't know how to deal with it. Um, but they also did say people had the um, highest potential for improvement. So technology is in great shape. It can't improve much. We don't want to put our effort there. Um, all of them, nearly all of them said people's our biggest risk. And they all said people also have the highest opportunity for improvement. So that really, I think, is, is gives you some visibility where the CISOs are looking is they, they, they see the hole in the people's side and they want to shore that up. 